Hello students, I wanted to talk a little bit about paraphrasing. This is a really important skill, especially as we get into writing longer papers. The word paraphrase itself contains this prefix, para, and one of the definitions of this prefix is to resemble. So a paraphrase is a phrase that resembles the work or idea or sentence from another source, correct? So I think what we need to focus on is that word resemble. So if we think about two siblings that are related, they may resemble each other, but they definitely don't look exactly alike, correct? Unless they are identical twins, of course. But here's just a stock photo of two sisters. They do resemble each other, but they definitely don't look almost exactly alike, right? And this is um, something that I'm seeing in student papers is that the paraphrases look too similar to the original source. So paraphrasing is not taking a sentence from the source and reordering the words. That's not a paraphrase. Paraphrasing is also not taking a sentence from the source and changing perhaps one word, two words, three words. That's not a paraphrase either, right? Because that makes the sentence, your sentence, almost identical to the source. So how do we paraphrase? Um, I will link this website in the description box below, but I like the steps that are included in this handout. Um, step one is to read the passage several times to fully understand the meaning. So that's critical. You can't take an idea and put it in your own words if you don't fully understand that idea, right? So read it, read it multiple times, make sure you have processed and digested that information and that you're able to explain it to someone else. Note down key concepts. Always good to take notes and annotate when you're reading. You've heard me say that many times. Uh, number three, write your version of the text without looking at the original. So this is a really good practice. After you've read it, you've taken your notes, you've annotated, write it down without looking at the original text. Okay, then step number four is to compare your paraphrase text with the original passage. And if you see phrases that are too similar, they need to be revised and rewritten. Last but not least, and this is critical, you need to cite the source. So if you take information from an outside source, which you will inevitably do, and that's perfectly fine, if you paraphrase it, you put it in your own words, those ideas still came from another source. So it is critical that you indicate to your reader where those ideas came from, right? You need to give attribution to the source. So let's look at this example. Here's the original passage from the source. It reads, the number of foreign and domestic tourists in the Netherlands rose above 42 million in 2017, an increase of 9% and the sharpest growth rate since 2006, the National Statistics Office CBS reported on Wednesday. So think about going through these steps, right? You may need to read this sentence a couple times, a few times to really understand what information is being conveyed right? Then you might take some notes, write down the key concepts, write down your version of this idea in your own words without changing the integrity of any of the facts. Then compare this newly written paraphrase with the original text, make sure it's not too similar, and of course cite the source. So let's look at the paraphrased version. According, oops, According to the National Statistics Office, the Netherlands experienced dramatic growth in tourist numbers in 2017. More than 42 million tourists traveled to or within the Netherlands that year, representing a 9% increase, the steepest in 12 years. So as you can see, this revised version is definitely not <laughs> nearly identical to this version, correct? So the student read it, processed it, rewrote it, 
um, in a way that kept the facts the same. That's important, but it's written in the student's own words and the student's own voice. I think that's important. When you're writing, you want your writing to be your own voice and to not flip back and forth constantly between someone else's writing style and your writing style, which is why we paraphrase, right? You've heard me say that including too many quotes is not good. So think about this as you're writing. Um, it is time consuming. I think sometimes students don't recognize A, that paraphrasing takes practice. It's a skill. And two, that it definitely takes time. This is not something that you can do in a few minutes. Or if you're writing a paper um, in which you know you, you will be paraphrasing many times, you definitely need to block out the time where you're able to focus and really think deeply about what you're reading and about how you can rephrase and um, and put the same information in your own voice so that there is a nice flow with your other sentences. I hope that helps and let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.